What used to be the former Toys R Us building will now be the future home of St. Cloud Subaru. And today for our behind the scenes series, we're gonna show you what it takes to convert this old building into a new car dealership. We'll take you inside and out and show you how everything has been rearranged and transformed on the inside ready for you to start selling cars in this parking lot. We're so crammed into that little lot. After nine years in the same small location, St. Cloud Subaru is moving on up to bigger and better things just down the road. It's a great location to be in. We wanted, we didn't want to be on the edge of town after being in the middle of town for years and uh, um, it fit all our needs. The new 30,000 square foot building not only comes with top of the line utilities, but better space for customer interaction. We're pretty excited about our sales desk being right here. He can see both sides of the uh, lot from end to end. You can see the entrances when customers come in. Owner Scott Bament really wanted to enhance the customer experience, so he added three waiting rooms with different activities. So this is our uh, kids' lounge. This is our main customer lounge, and then this is our express lounge. And a stronger focus on express service. We're uh, putting up high-speed lifts, training a team of uh, express oil change um, so that when you come in, uh, we can get you in and out of here under 30 minutes, and really we're shooting for that 20 to 25 mark. Bement says the service area doors will all be glass to allow for more natural light and customer viewing. He also says there's even room to expand in the future. When we, uh, when we expand to the next level, um, we increase about 4,000 square feet in our shop back here. Once the business is underway, the new building will open up about 10 new jobs. Bement says they hope to be open by the end of October. We're looking forward to it. So end of October, moving in, uh, middle of uh, November, grand opening, and then uh, well, I'll take a deep breath after January 1st. Reporting from St. Cloud, Alex Swykowski, WJON News.